The Army Cadets were on a dynastic run from 1944 to 46. Three seasons all concluded with national championship honors. In 1950, the cadets were on a 28-game unbeaten streak dating back to 1947 and on the hunt for another championship title. All that stood in their way was arch-rival Navy. Meanwhile, the Navy midshipmen were facing tough seas. Under first-year head coach Eddie Erdelatz, Navy arrived at the annual Classic with a 2-6 record. The middies' last victory against Army was in 1943. Needless to say, Navy was coming to play spoiler. A capacity crowd filled Philadelphia's Municipal Stadium as the midshipmen and cadet brigades paraded into the stadium. At the coin toss, President Harry Truman was flanked by Army Captain Dan Foldberg and Navy Captain Tom Bakke. Army was stopped four times throughout the first quarter. Navy did not have offensive success either until a bad pitch out by Army quarterback Bob Blake was recovered deep in Army territory by the middies Bob McDonald. The theft gave Navy a jolt, and quarterback Bob Zastrow broke the stalemate with the game's first touchdown. Navy's second score came on a Zastrow 30-yard throw to Jim Baldinger. At halftime, Navy led 14-0. Army had no answer to Navy's defense. Allison Dagzing of the New York Times described the Navy defense as knocking the Army backs loose from the ball with their savage tackling. Their secondaries back up the line violently and cover with amazing thoroughness. Army's lone score of the game came on a safety in the third quarter. Navy intercepted three Army passes in that final stanza, and the final score was 14-2. The loss marked the first time Army had not scored a touchdown since 1947. 3,700 midshipmen poured onto the field, filled with tremendous joy as they lifted their head coach and captain on their shoulders. Allison described the win for the academy. They had waited seven long years, almost two undergraduate generations, for this day of retribution.